Hi, I'm Ab and this is The Shirtless Apprentice. Tired of all those tapes cluttering up your edit and hours of wasted time capturing footage? On this episode of The Shirtless Apprentice, we're gonna discuss shooting to an external hard drive. So there are a few major benefits that you're gonna get by shooting to hard drive. One of the first ones is there's no more capturing. All you're really gonna have to wait for is file transfer over Firewire. I recommend that you shoot the tape for backup, but that's really all you're gonna have to use the tape for. Now once in a while, you're gonna get a dropped frame, or if you improperly use the hard drive or you allow one of the connections to get loose, it might uh, not be recording and you're gonna have to revert back to that tape for backup. This hard drive specifically is a Firestore HD DR100. Now this hard drive is going to allow you to shoot directly to your editing file format. It has a huge list of formats. Uh, most used would probably be an MOV file or an OMF file for Avi. Um, obviously, that's gonna benefit you with ease of importing. Also, it's going to allow you to edit on site with that hard drive, export a project, and give it to your client and be able to leave them with a finalized product on the same day as you shoot. A popular alternative to shooting the hard drive is Panasonic's P2 card. Now that format will let you shoot to high... That format will let you shoot true high def to the card, which this will not allow you to do. However, the cards have many limitations. First of all, they're very expensive considering the size of the card. An eight gigabyte card can cost almost $1,000 and only give you about eight minutes of high def time on it. Secondly, you can't use it to edit off of. Also, it won't allow you to shoot natively to an editable format. Lastly, these hard drives are about the same price as a large P2 card, but give you about 400 SD minutes of recording time and over 250 high def minutes. Now, our DR100 costs about $1,599. Um, although, Although that sounds kind of steep at first, when you consider the amount of work it saves you, both with capturing and uh, the fact that it shoots natively to your file format, it will pay for itself relatively quickly. Next week on The Shirtless Apprentice, we're gonna take a unique look at the iPhone. See you there.